Winners are picked from our comments section, but they will only be notified of their win in our videos. Meaning when you're watching a video, if you won, it'll be mentioned in there, whoever the winners are as they do win. So you must subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when new videos come out. This means you also need to type comment and we would love it if you'd participate. So thank you for watching. Why it is that TRX, Tron, and BTT BitTorrent are going to be helped out by companies that directly have directly nothing to do with them, companies like Binance. But, <clears throat> excuse me, before I get into it, if you're new, thank you for watching. If you're already subscribed, thank you for being a subscriber. But if you're new, you know, occasionally I watch videos, I like them, and I forget to like them and subscribe and help out the content creator because I get distracted because I enjoy the video. So if you do it now, it's free. It just takes a few seconds, three things for you to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. This way, when we do our occasional giveaways, you'll know about them as well, along with our new content, because we actually tell you, we tell people when they get something within, <clears throat> excuse me, within the actual videos, Maybe I'll edit that out, maybe I won't because I don't like editing. Anyway, we let people know within the existing videos if they actually want, and if you don't subscribe, you're never going to know because you won't get that bang when a new video comes out. So, let me get into it. Binance Crypto Exchange to launch its own NFT platform, and if you find value here, I'm going to be very, very thrilled. I believe that you will, and I believe that you'll be very happy that you subscribe and hit the notification bell, and if you're not, punish me! take it back okay but do it before you forget and hit the like button thank you binance crypto exchange to launch its own nft platform and it has to do with mainstreaming because there's so much mainstreaming there's so much publicity going on right now that so many more people are rushing to get involved with the cryptos and they're rushing to find out about altcoins because they're being pushed that way because for a lot of people they don't realize even that they can buy fractionally or it's too much for their head because they have enough going on in their lives and when they hear fractional purchasing in Bitcoin you know they find it easier and it just feels better to them it makes them feel more whole when they own the whole of meaning when they own more coins is what I'm really trying to say so um, Binance Crypto Exchange to launch its own NFT platform and anything that drives action activity to Binance is going to help Tron because Binance works off of Tron's infrastructure and different uh, a lot of different movements are based and partnered up with Tron and a lot of people don't realize so that activity pushes the button for Tron. Tron is also BTT owns BitTorrent so they're interconnected whatever benefits Tron cascades over to BitTorrent and vice versa and so here we go with the popular NFTs which is more news pushing things to the mainstream meaning that there's more awareness more press and thus more liquidity on the way. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, is entering the non-fungible token industry by introducing its own NFT platform and marketplace. The company announced Monday that upcoming launch of Binance NFT, a new NFT platform that is expected to start operating in June 2021. Source of this article, here it is, Cointelegraph, because as you know, I always show and share my sources and I won't necessarily go through the whole article because there's a few things um, that I think you're going to find interesting. So hold on, don't go away, because there's going to be more that shows you why my price prediction is that Tron is going to do a crazy dance and so will BTT BitTorn, in my opinion, it's not investment advice within the next 14 days and it's a combination of what I'm talking about today and part of what I've already mentioned today. Based on Binance's blockchain infrastructure, Binance NFT aims to provide minimum NFT transaction costs. Binance NFT head Helen Ha said, hey or ha? Maybe it's hey, maybe it's ha. Apologies if I butchered the name. The new NFT marketplace and offerings will be available to all existing Binance users as Binance NFT will share the same account system as Binance. According to the announcement, Binance NFT will debut with two main venues, including a trading market, allowing everyday users to create NFTs with Binance. 
charging a 1% processing fee, a premium event category will target exclusive collaborations and curated collections with artists receiving 90% of profits from NFT sales, uh, Binance Changpeng Zhao said. And again, it's that perfect water cooler. It's like creating a mall, a sticky point. NFTs will make people flow to Binance even more, spend more time there, and time is money. Helps TRX, helps BTT, helps everyone, even helps altcoins. Binance serves millions of users around the world, many of whom will now be able to access the booming NFT space. In line with our commitment to the freedom of money globally and building an inclusive ecosystem, the Binance NFT marketplace will also support small value creators by providing the highest liquidity and cheapest fees for users. That's very, very important. And Tron will be behind the cheap user fees. NFTs are unique digital collectibles brought online using blockchain tech. Tron. The underlying technology of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether, most NFTs are currently based on the Ethereum blockchain, while other blockchains like Binance's smart contract blockchain network, Binance Smart Chain or BSC, are beginning to enter the space. Now, I'm going to go to more mainstreaming. Gemini partners with MasterCard to launch a crypto credit card with rewards in Bitcoin. You know, this is how the card companies, bigger institutions like them, are a little bit, a lot of bit disgusting. The politics involved is gross because they're like, um, you know, the popular girls and guys in school that didn't like you when you were a nerd and all of a sudden when you became more popular than them they're tapping you on the back at your locker they're smiling they're wanting to be your friend and they're telling you how great you are and they're willing to throw their white coat in the mud so that you can walk all over it and their face to not get your shoes or toes dirty because you're wearing some cool flip-flops or sandals and all of a sudden they've become your best friend why is that because of the popularity because of the money and because of the fact that they are how should i say it social climbers they're the institutional social climbers that <laughs> that run to social climb as soon as they see a shift and the shift here is in the um, attention the mainstreaming that I've been talking about and I want to talk a little bit more about it here because they would not like I said in other videos with a million foot pole they would not touch cryptocurrencies in the past now oh, all of a sudden all of a sudden what's happening gemini partners with mastercard to launch a, and good for gemini for making it happen helping to make it happen uh to launch a crypto credit card with rewards in bitcoin mastercard and gemini introduce a credit card offering up to three percent of cash back in bitcoin to users mastercard continues its crypto related efforts by partnering with the digital asset uh, exchange Gemini to introduce a new innovative crypto rewards credit card dubbed Gemini credit card. It already has over a hundred thousand people on its wait list but should see the light of day in the summer. Gemini inadvertently and Binance less inadvertently becomes a partner of Tron, TRX, BTT and BitTorrent in a figure of speech manner because this helps again this is more mainstreaming it's normalizing of the pariah which means i have a strong feeling again not investment advice and yes i can be wrong and that's fine as long as i'm right more often than i'm wrong proportionately same goes for everybody but i think like i said within 14 days something cool is going to happen with the pricing with tron and with BitTorrent because of this mainstreaming and news that's being pumped out like create like a crazy machine so let's get back into it a little bit now crypto rewards credit card from gemini the crypto exchange founded and managed by the Winklevoss twins announced its latest product earlier today. Apart from including MasterCard, the company has also partnered with the Utah-based industrial bank, Web Bank. The statement outlines some of the key features on the card, which has already amassed 140,000 people on the wait list. That's, that's pretty good. It's a good amount of people. Um, those include up to 3% of cash back on qualifying purchases in Bitcoin 
or some of the other digital assets listed on the Gemini. I don't know if I'm centered in my screen today, what's happening here. The rewards will be automatically deposited immediately after the transactions in the cardholder's accounts on the exchange. No, the rewards will be automatically deposited immediately after the transactions into the cardholder's accounts on the exchange. Is it just me or does that sound wrong? Gemini promised the card will come with no annual fees. I mean grammatically, I don't mean the information itself. Um, promised it will come with no annual fees. Live support, which should deliver a superior cardholder experience. The card will be available in three colors initially, black, silver, and rose gold, and will not contain the 16-digit number. Instead, it will be easily accessed via the customer's Gemini accounts and will require two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication is great. It's probably one of the better ways to do things until somebody decides that they're going to get their hands on your SIM card or call your, uh, this happened to John McAfee, by the way, the uh, founder of uh, McAfee Antivirus, or so he says anyways. Somebody called up his cell company, impersonated him, got them to send a, a new SIM card uh, to their address before he noticed that phone was no longer working. They had the SIM card. They did the two-factor authentication somehow and got into... Um, his accounts. Anyway, the card, I'm sure you're okay and that won't happen to you with two-factor authentication, but it's a story I tell sometimes when I think of or when the topic comes up. So, the card will be available in three colors initially, black, silver, and rose. Okay, fine, I read that. Fine, fine, fine. Um, MasterCard doubles down on crypto. Winklevoss also outlined MasterCard's recent efforts with affiliation to the cryptocurrency industry as a significant milestone in terms of mass adoption. I think I'm going to leave it right there and that's what I'm saying. The mainstreaming power will take the prices up. Watch out Tron and BTT in the next 14 days. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this finds you well, healthy, happy, and I'll see you on the next video.